So this is Drax's subconscious. Guy needs a shrink. We've all got dark corners of our mind we'd rather not share. Hard to argue with that. Don't suppose I'd want you all traipsing around in my thoughts. Drax dug all these? The epitaphs are all inscribed Hovat and Camaria. You can read that junk? All elocution is native to my tongue of truth. I am Groot. I am Groot. You, you can speak, Groot? That may be the weirdest thing about you so far. Foul feeling is far too familiar. Something to share with the class there, Goldilocks. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging until he accepts what's buried. Uh, I'm not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> we got a runner! After him, Starlight! I don't know! <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's a long way down. I don't think that matters here. Ladies first? Rank before gender. Please be something soft down there! <laughs> <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, hey, Gamora? I'm going to enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Better than therapy! Remind me not to make her mad! <laughs> not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand? I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. We are trespassers on tainted land. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. You're so keen to usurp your father, little one. You're scared to race me. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! Hey, that's cheating! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. Forced to follow fools. Damn it! 
You play Pong on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Ugh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, huh? You can your see Your friend me. is too far fallen to be willed back by words. There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you all right? Drax, come here. It is time to come home. What the flock is that? little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not much Kansas anymore. Mark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. We have merely moved deeper within its domain. Speaking of which... Is that... Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. You two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. <laughs> Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask.
working on it, promise! Did you see? We're starting to get through the track! Alright, that should do it! Or not! Endless entropy. Cease this charade! Cover your eye holes! Not good. Clark and Nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping! Hobo wizard. Alright, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally. But we're not gonna give up. Just point us in the right direction. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is an ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drag, Slav. It is time to eat. special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I have ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were were. They were. Peter Quill. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion, fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. Not her. 
Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. We owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger, if her pain is half of my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, dark delight developed deep within me, and in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger, a cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull. 
and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone. Chained to the child. That's what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you- What's going- Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? 
Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? In his assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns! Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on, you don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. My shoulders are sore. <laughs> oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> uh, Gamora! I was only looking... Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I, uh, actually... never got a chance to say thank you. For the doll. Oh. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? 
Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... Lonely. After the war, the resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's... surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was gonna be a knife or something. Like I said, Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula... After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but... I guess I'd do it for her. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. Would a wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber? All right. Let the waves of calm wash over me. And... That's not how that works. Oh, Gamora! Since when do you meditate? I don't, but desperate times and all. Stuff's been a lot lately. <sighs> I get it. Hala, help me do I get it. Uh, so, how do you use this then? In, in case, you know, Rocket asks. Well, for one, it isn't about just holding it. 
You also need a comfortable place to sit, where you can be relaxed but alert, and focus on your breathing. Then you practice. A lot. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a lot more work than I was hoping for. Anything worth doing tends to be. So how do you do it? Focus was something Thanos beat into us early on. But it wasn't until I lived with the priests of Pama that I realized how... limited his version of meditation really was. I can't picture Thanos meditating. I kind of always figured he was this egotistical tyrant. No, oh, he totally was. But Thanos also understood that aspects of meditation could be useful to his cause. Like focus? Focus, increasing overall awareness, pain tolerance. He came up with a series of exercises, fun little games for me and Nebula to compete in as part of our training. The worst part was, we didn't even know what he was doing until it was too late. What do you mean? Thanos' brand of meditation warped us, turned us into hyper-focused weapons. That way we were numb to the horrors of his agenda. Killing people. Assassination is just a different name for murder. So how did you cope? We made puns. Bad, stupid jokes to shout as we were. Killing people. The more terrible, the better. Here, I thought you just had a really lame sense of humor. Oh, I do. But it was the only way to survive. And it was something we did together. A new kind of competition. Just between me and Nebula. To see who can make the other laugh. That's really messed up. And yet, oddly endearing. Yeah, well, even bad puns can only get you so far before your conscience catches up with you. How did you end up living with the priests of Palma? They're not exactly your kind of crowd with the whole pacifism thing. Mantis introduced me to them last year, when I needed to... heal. They helped me in ways I didn't think were possible. Helped? How? I guess you could say I was broken. Thanos, the war, working as an assassin... It'd take a toll on you. By the time Mantis brought me there, I was ready to give up. I mean... I was miserable. Convinced I was beyond redemption or worth. I truly believed I deserved to die. But you didn't. Die? No. There was this... boy there. A con. The one you hugged in the village. A con was like me. Lost. His parents had died in an accident. He was combative, rebellious, the opposite of a pacifist. <laughs> the priest thought it would be a good idea for both of us to work through our scut together. <laughs> and was it? <laughs> At first, not really. He was a pain in the butt. But over time, we came to rely on each other. Thanos had taught me how to meditate in the functional sense, but not in the spiritual sense. Like, how to work through my trauma. Caring for a con, it... He forced me to reflect and process, and together, through mutual support, Akan and I were able to overcome our demons. Wow. I had no idea meditation could be so... intense. Or beneficial? Well, yeah, that too. I guess I should give it a go sometime. Although I'm kind of scared of what I'll find. Who knows? You might surprise yourself. I know I did. Yeah, maybe. I'm kinda glad Loop the Loop stayed on Lamentus. My ears were ringing from all her nonsense. I prefer Mantis's nonsense to Warlock's. The Golden Man is perfectly intelligible. Sure, his words make sense. I'm just having trouble with all the pathos. Yeah, like, what's with the dramatic wardrobe change? Who sleeps in a cocoon and owns a cape? Hmm. Oh. He didn't light it. Peter Quill, I did not expect to find you in here. Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to... It is fine. Your company is always welcome. And... Thank you for the gift. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Figured you might want to light it from time to time, in memory of your family. Why would a lit candle remind me of my family? Every memory I have of them has been carved into my flesh. You... What? The red scars that I bear. They are a record of every great deed, an important milestone in my life. Oh. I just thought it was because they look cool. No, Peter Quill. On Katath, we practice scarification, so that there is a record, proof, that one is worthy to enter Ultath. Such a record is required for judgment in the afterlife. So, hypothetically speaking, if you died tomorrow, what would happen? My Cho Tak... <clears throat> my life essence would travel to the gates of Ultaf. There I will be judged by the great kings and queens of ages past. And if deemed worthy, the gates will open. And if you're not, you know, worthy? The gates do not open. And... I am cast into Sarduth, where I will cease to exist. Yeah. I guess that's bad. So, like... How do these kings and queens know if you're worthy? By reading the scars that make up my life record. From that they will judge whether I'm worthy. For some, a life of meaning comes from their trade. For others, their family. And others yet, from following the warrior's path. Each is a valid entry into the gates of Ultath. Hence the record. What happens if you don't have a record? Ah. Oh. Like yourself? Uh, sure. Like me. What happens to someone like me? Do I just immediately get thrown into Sarduth? No, Peter Quill. Your record is instead given by those who knew you in life. Ooh, yeah. I might have some problems. Doubtful. I've seen your dedication to the Kree child and woman. And to this crew. And what you did for me. It is a testament to your worthiness. Oh, uh... <laughs> Thanks. So, your tattoos are actually a record of your life that's been carved into your skin? Yes. The process is known as the Jil Tara, and is extremely painful. It requires focus and self-control, and occurs many times in a Katathian's life. No offense, Drax. But they just look like a bunch of swirly lines. Perhaps to you. To me, they are the most important moments of my life. Each line is composed of a thousand scars, each engraved with the tooth of a walnut creature. What kind of moments get recorded? Kill counts? <laughs> Stuff like that? No, Peter Quill. A Katathian life record is a record of just that. Major milestones and important events. Like the day I became a man. Gross. And the day that Hovat accepted my proposal of marriage. And later the marriage ceremony itself. And the day that Hovat gave birth to my daughter, Camaria. And the day that I lost them both. Now I see why they're scars. Yes. Once I believed my failure to avenge their deaths had banished us all to Sarduth. But now, thanks to you and the others, I see a deeper truth. Life does not have meaning without suffering as well. If anyone deserves a happy afterlife, Drax, it's you. Think you'll be adding any more to your tattoos? Yes. Like maybe a Guardians of the Galaxy logo? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Good enough for me. I am optimistic about Peter Quill convincing our guest to fight alongside us. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures. As is its scribe. Okay, 
What's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and, and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Hey, Groot. Did you reach Cosmo? <clears throat> it may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station, but if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me to thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors. The noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? 
great! Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now! He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna... More than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. You're actually gonna miss Choga Dogs? I'm gonna miss Mantlos, and that place with the dancers. And Alice Bar? Remember that time we caught a liquor thief under their sling boot table? I remember how crap that liquor tasted. Who pays that much for rust juice? So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save her girl. I, I know it's important to you. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. What is our plan if the Matriarch is no longer in the Continuum Cortex? She'll be there. She's gotta be. It is unusual for you to refuse to think of backup plans. There's no backup plan. We rescue Nikki here and now and put an end to Raker's church. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kinda understood that. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe flarkers. <laughs>